Hi, thank you for watching DC Honeybees TV. It's a muggy, 93 degree day out here in Washington. Uh, we're here in Georgetown, uh, going to be going up to our rooftop apiary to try to breed some queens. Um, we are using a couple of different methods here, or a hybrid method of a couple of different methods. Um, and uh, we're going to see if we get any queens out of it. The first is going to be um, the Don Fat Bee Man method, where we actually cut a strip of larva and eggs and attach it to the top bar and let them make their own queen uh, via that method. And the other we're actually going to try to do some graphs for the first time. And the box we're going to be introducing the bees into is a setup that's very similar to one I've seen done by David Burns over at uh, Long Lane Honey Bee Farms. So it's going to be a combination, it's going to be an experiment. We're going to cut these graphs and uh, see if they, if we make any queens. Um, if we do, we'll, we'll show you the, the progress. Um, but the hope is to make at least three or four so that we can um, help replenish more apiaries and, um, and also help uh, rejuvenate some of the stock, some of our better stock. This is uh, the, the bees we're going to be taking these grafts from, or come from a hive, come from a hive that um, uh, overwintered well and built up quickly and gave us about 100 pounds of honey. These are uh, the queen that is in that hive is from Russell Apiaries. It's a sun-kissed queen. So let's see how we do. Welcome to part one. Before we make our queens, or in order to make our queens, we have uh, a few pieces of equipment to discuss. The first is our frame that we are going to use um, on the top bar. By the way, this is simply a medium frame on which we've turned the bottom bar upside down so the groove is facing down. On this top bar we'll do the Don the Fat Bee Man um, method of basically gluing with beeswax a strip of uh, comb with eggs and larva in it and we'll glue that down with some hot wax that we have here and then on the top bar we'll do some graphs with these plastic cell cups We'll give that a shot, and we're going to be using our Chinese grafting tool, beg your pardon, a German grafting tool, to give that a shot. We've never grafted before, this is going to be a big experiment, um, but it won't be take too long, and we're not, we don't need a ton of queens, so it's a fun little, fun little project to do. This is the hive, it's going to be our starter and finish finishing hive for the queen cells we're starting. Um, what you see here are two nuke boxes. These happen to be six frame nukes of my own design. Nothing special about them. You can use a five frame nuke box. You can use a regular old uh, eight, uh, d two double deeps um, or mediums as well. Um, what's important here is to separate the queen or isolate her into one of the boxes. So in this case what I did was I put a queen excluder between the two boxes and came back a few days later and looked at the pulled a few frames from the upper box and to see if I could find any eggs. Indeed I did find eggs uh, and so what that has indicated to me is the queen is in the upper box and not the lower box. And so what we'll do here to grow these queens and this is a makeshift version of what we've seen um, uh, David Burns of Long Lane Honey Fe Honeybee Farm do, um, and we hope it will work in a similar fashion. Um, but by uh, by putting our frame of grafts in the lower box where there is no queens, um, they will uh, they will uh, continue to feed them and create uh, queen cells out of the grafts. So um, again, we'll be putting the frame of grafts uh, into the bottom box. This is the hive from which we're going to take our our. Uh, our queen stock. It uh, is one of our favorite hives. It's produced some of the most honey we've had all season. Uh, you can see how active it is. Um, also, the frames in the bottom box were done uh, in a foundationless way, and so we'll be able to cut off the comb fairly simply uh, to do the Don, uh, the Fat Bee Man methodology. So we are going to get into this box, into that bottom box, and try to find a frame that has mostly uh, open brood and eggs. To 
do the Don method, the Don Fat B Man method. We've taken a frame of foundationless, and, and you can see we started this with a piece of starter strip right here, and they just built off of it. Very nice frame. Um, and we have cut a strip of cells right out of the middle of it, of about an inch and a half wide. You can see that here. I hope. And we're going to adhere this strip onto the top bar using beeswax. So we used our melted wax to adhere the strip to the top bar. And now we're every few inches we're going to go and crush the wax into the melted wax. Now the theory goes that the bees will pick the best cells and make queen cells off of them, especially near the areas where we've crushed. We will see if that happens. Now to graph some other cells. So we've done our graphs and um, we put them on this frame. We've done, um, so the graphs are on the top and the, um, what I'm going to call the more naturally produced queens from the Fat Bee Man are on the bottom. We've covered them with some moist paper towel to keep them from drying out and now we're going to bring them up to the, um, to the hives, to, uh, to the finishing hive to get them started. All right, so it has been about eight and a half days since we hived these bees. Um, or pardon me, um, added the graphs and the fat bee man methodology to this hive. And again, notice the queen excluder isolating the queen to the lower box, uh, to the upper box. So our um, our frame full of potential graphs is in the lower box. And today is the great unveiling for me to see whether any of those graphs have taken and whether the Fat Bee Man methodology has worked and whether this uh, queen isolation methodology has worked. So uh, stand by while we pull this frame. The frame that we're anxious to take stock of is this one right here, which is the brand new one. And um, let's see what it looks like. Now pop it aside. Give it some, uh, let's see here. Well, that's interesting. So, if you look up at the Fat Bee Man methodology, there are no queen cells there. Just double check the back. Yeah, no queen cells. And actually, all of that is brand new comb that's hanging down there. Let me see if I can get this thing to focus better. On my graphs, we got nothing. So, looks like we've got to try a different way of managing this. Um, hopefully the bees are fine building comb here, but we need to find, uh, I think the situation is not with the, um, it could be with the graphs, I don't think it's with the fat bee man methodology. Rather, I think it may have something to do with uh, the way we set this bee box up in a queen right colony, even though we had the, um, the queen separated. She's still, um, well what the fuck? Now listen here, I see eggs, there are eggs, there are eggs in this comb, which says to me, maybe I isolated the queen in the wrong box, let me test that out and see. <laughs> 